with our first guest who was starring in the Hallmark Channel original series, Good Witch, and he is our very good friend, but really, he's family, everybody. Right. Welcome back, James Denton. <laughs> Welcome back, James. Oh. Nice, nice to be here. To be here. Yeah, man. Always great to see you. Uh, this is exciting. The season is going great. Season five for you guys. We're in the in the thick of things. Yep. Uh, yeah. Dr. Sam Radford is doing his thing. He's going to be very busy this Sunday. So get yeah. us up to speed on what's going on with the You doctor. know, it's a really fun year. We, we were just talking off camera about how lucky we are. It's such a great okay. show and a good group of people. And and you said starring in Good Witch. I'm co-starring. It's not called The Good Doctor. Oh. It's, all about, it's all about the amazing Catherine Bell. Yeah. And, uh, Both and you she, together in that she chemistry. Sets, she sets the tone. And, you know, it's a great place to be. So it's a fun year. Yeah, I get to do a lot more in the hospital, which uh, we cool. stayed away from. We, I've always had an office. Um, so uh, it's sort of a private practice doctor, and we got away from that, and now I, I'm in the hospital more. So some more scrubs and actually doing some fun, saving some lives, and right. so it's a little more, a uh, little more exciting on the doctor front for Sam. Yeah, and then of course Very all good. the domestic bliss with the wedding. Oh yeah, and big year. Exactly. In this episode, also you get a little blast from the past. Somebody comes to visit you, uh, right. asking for some advice. Yeah, right? yeah, really good actor. Tom Marriott is his name. He's a, a theater guy that comes in and plays a guy I knew in uh, um, medical school. Okay, and we just sort of catching up and he has a heart attack and falls over in the hospital. Yeah, so I uh, put him in a chair and we take him in and then we find out that his his problems might not be physical. Uh-oh. So then that's maybe Cassie to the rescue, you know. So it's uh, the whole Eastern medicine, Western medicine with Sam and Cassie. It's We've played with that sort of for the last five or six years. It's been fun. So. Well, it's good luck that he had the heart attack in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I mean, bad luck or good right. luck? Which good, place, way? good place to have yeah. it. Yeah. Well, we have a clip of your oh. friend visiting. Oh, you. great. Let's take a look. Out of everything we have up for auction, you want the waffle iron? You want a gray house just broke. Waffle iron it is. Just make sure you bid on it as soon as the auction goes live. I guess they'll let anybody be chief of staff in this hospital. I guess they'll let anybody just walk in here. Well, this place is, uh, interesting. What are you doing here? Can't a guy drop in on an old friend? Oh, hi, Adam. This is Patrick Taylor. Dr. Patrick Taylor. Head of cardiothoracic surgery at uh, St. Percy's in Beverly Hills. Adam Hawkins, head of pastoral care here at Hillcrest Hospital. Good to meet you, Chaplain. You too. Sam and I went to medical school together. Even back then, I knew he'd make a heck of a doctor. Not how I remember you putting it. But it has been 20 years. Uh, you two must have a lot of catching up to do. I'll leave you to it. What are you really doing here? I need your help with a patient. All right. Let's go talk to my office. Oh, hang on. Look, I need a wheelchair and oxygen stack. Oh, slow, deep breaths. Put in your chair. Wow, wow. What a great scene. Well, it gets, yeah, it gets very intense. As you can tell, I left out the part that we're not exactly really good friends. <laughs> and we went to school together, we were sort of rivals. And so Sam gets a little bit of pleasure out of, once he realizes the guy's not really, well, you'll find out, how he's really healthy physically. Right. Sam has a little bit of fun being in charge and being able to boss him around and find out what's wrong with him because you did notice he's from cardiac. And, you know, I we were talking a little bit about this. You really take those doctor scenes very seriously because as an actor, I imagine playing, uh, both of you, I'll say this about with you playing yeah. someone who is a real person in life or playing a doctor or a lawyer you have to get it right because people at home who are doctors and lawyers will think this guy doesn't know what he's talking about you the jargon i was going to say the jargon is is, is always just having it roll off the tongue yeah, yeah that's a, you have to really work on that but you want to i mean a lot of people don't and they think well it's not a big deal but the last thing i want is for a doctor to be watching and, and roll his eyes so a good example is i had to do a knee exam in a scene just with conversation going on i was examining a knee and i thought i don't want to just sit there and poke on his knee right so i went to youtube and watched a bunch of knee exams and like what to do and how to handle the patella and all this stuff so at least if a doctor was watching they would go hey he's actually doing a knee exam so Right. You do the best you can, right? Yeah, but it's not even for the doctors watching too. Sometimes when I'm watching and I can see like a somebody playing a massage therapist, I mean, I'm <laughs> you know, like, you, listen, I, I'm, I'm no expert, <laughs> but I know that's not a great massage. That's true. Do you know well, what I mean? I can see that yeah. too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. All right. The well, untrained eye can even tell. You're right. Kind of. Like, you know, <laughs> as a viewer, yeah. we appreciate that, and I try to yeah. do the same, but uh, great yeah. job with that yeah. for sure. Like, well, it makes it more fun too, you know, because that's sort of the fun of acting is immersing, not to be too precious, but immersing yourself into somebody that's very different from you right. and learning some different things yeah yeah well um sam not only a great doctor sam's also a great father mm. just like you are in real life to <laughs> shepherd and to mail in yeah. beautiful kids incredibly talented kids and, and i know that you really it's important to you to encourage their passions yeah they're at tricky ages 14 and 16. wow so yeah a lot of decisions the being made there they are 
Yeah, my crazy guitar playing son oh. on the left and my beautiful daughter on the right. And my beautiful son, too. They're beautiful, both um, of them. Yeah, they're, uh, they're good kids. They're both, you know, straight A's. They work hard. Wow. Um, so yeah, you just try to encourage them. And my son really wants to be a musician, and he's a, he taught himself to play guitar this year. And he, I've played for my whole life, and he blew by me. So he's really good. But you think musician as a living, you know, like, like as an actor, you cringe a little bit. But you know what? You just gotta support them and, and try to convince them they can do anything. And. And my daughter's also a really good musician too. So they're, you know, Boy. they're they're really great ages. This is where and they Sam... still like me, which is great. I don't oh know. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. cool dad. I love you forever. But this is where Sam would would probably say to them, "Why don't you become a doctor? It's a oh, better yeah. profession." That's <laughs> right. Yeah, well, That's Sam right. Beats, yeah, Sam beats up on his son. You know, Nick, poor kid, all year on Goodwitch. So yeah, I try not to do that at home. I try to take it easier, take my foot off the gas at home a little bit. Well, they are really great musicians, oh. and I'm sure they have huge futures ahead of them if they choose to go down this path for good. Yeah. We have a clip of them. He's oh, you're gonna, oh we're going to show that. We're good. Um, he's playing uh, Shallow from, of course, oh, uh, 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 they're gonna kill me Star is Born. Yeah. And your beautiful daughter is singing. Let's yeah, take a look. Let's see. In the shallow, shallow. In the shallow, shallow. Dead. I'm a dead man. <laughs> Literally, they, my daughter's looking at her phone because I think my son had the idea. So let's see if you can find it. And he can play anything by ear. And I think they pulled it up, and that was the first time they'd ever done it. And I just whipped out my phone, and I didn't ask him if they could if I could use it. Wow. Either, so. been but at least they're, they're on TV, so yeah, how can exactly. they complain? And he's been playing for a year. Yeah, he started last summer. And he can uh, play anything by yeah, ear. Yeah, he plays that piano by ear too. That was his first time. And he plays and he plays trumpet. That's, that's yeah. trumpet. Yeah, he's just he's one of those natural. No, but they both are. I'm, they're very talented. Yeah, I, I'm very blessed, and thank God they take after their mom. <laughs> and that's the truth. Well, well give yourself a little credit as well. You know, there are also two other members of your family, four-legged members, that deserve oh. a little attention here. Um, they're a bit of an odd pair, but they they love each other. That's Quinn and Dodger. Tell us about Oh, them. Quinn and Dodger. Yeah, we're going deep <laughs> in the family today. That's Quinn, the great Dane, and uh, on the left. That's um, unbelievable. Yeah. I thought my dog was and big. And Quinn's fantastic. And then we've got uh, Dodger. They're inseparable. They are um, Dodger we rescued from Alabama. There's a company that brings them up um, in vans because there are no kill shelters in Minnesota. So we bought Dodger online, sight unseen. They got him off the street in Alabama. Mm -hmm. And he just, it's like he knows it. He spends every day, like, thanking us. So he's a sweet dog, and they're inseparable. So yeah, dogs, rescue dogs. Rescue, you know on this show we talk yeah, about rescue. Course. Go rescue a dog, it will change your life. Yeah. And Quinn is 120 pounds? About, yeah, so not huge for a Dane. We're lucky what? she's a, she's a, yeah, we had one before that was about 150, but they're just such sweet dogs with kids, you know, and they're <laughs> gentle giants. And they're really they really are. If you can deal with all the jokes in the dog park, but uh, get a saddle, you know. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. But that's right. okay. They're, and then Dodger's like. Yeah, Dodger's a little squatty. So the two yeah. of them together, it's very yeah, funny. Fun. Yeah, you need a chihuahua <laughs> next to go with <laughs> Hey, man, always great to see you. Appreciate the time. Congrats on season five. This is awesome. Be sure to watch James in Goodwitch this Sunday at 8, 7 central right here on Homework Channel.